It took place in Shushan so long, long ago. In this beautiful kingdom ruled a king, a king with no brain. Who'd think such a thing? A queen named Vashti was his loyal wife. She promised to love him all of her life. At his grandest of parties, the king did command. Queen Vashti danced for royal men of the land. I am not your servant, and dance I will not. Vashti was banished. Away she did go. Where did she go? That we do not know. A new queen to be chosen in an unusual way, in a beauty contest, held the very next day. All the maidens of the land were forced to appear, from near and from far, from far and from near. One such maiden had brains and had grace. Esther was her name. Such a pretty face. Encouraged by her uncle, or was it cousin, Mordecai? I beg you, dear Esther, this you must try. With your brains and your beauty, you he would choose. Go, 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 comb your hair, wear nice shoes. The contest was held. They came one and all. And Esther, of course, was the queen of the ball. So now back to Haman, that cruel, crusty fellow. At the top of his lungs, he continued to bellow. Bow down, bow down, now I command, or great harm will come to you in this land. Mordecai, of course, refused to obey. I bow only to God to my last dying day. Mordecai turned his back, and others did follow. As for Haman, well, his pride he had to swallow. That Jew Mordecai has ruined my heinous plot. Because of this affront, I will have to draw lots. The straw that I pick, the one that comes nigh, is the day that the Jews of Persia shall die. Into this three-cornered hat he did cast all of the dates, the future, the past. The lot that he picked was the thirteenth of Adar. Make ready the gallows, Adar is not far. Right after Haman, he did pester, when Mordecai to see Queen Esther. At the palace gate, two guards he did broach, plying to kill King Ahasuerus. Brave Morty protected his king and his land by revealing the plot in the palace grand. The king in his chamber that evening did read of Mordecai's loyalty in the Book of Good Deeds. Who, who, who is this Mordecai who foiled the guard's plan? I must reward him. Send him for Haman. A question to Haman, a Ahasuerus did pose. How should I honor a man who has been on his toes? Haman, thinking this hero was he, pompously swelled with excitement and greed. I think, my dear king, no reward is too great. Give him diamonds and jewels, a house by the lake, fabulous clothing and all of the best. Let him ride the king's horse on your next birthday fest. Make it so dear, Haman, loyal right-hand man. Bring forth Mordecai the Jew, this is my command. Haman, astounded, speechless at best, felt his anger spread from his feet to his chest. Call all the king's horses and all the king's men to honor this Jew again and again. You must risk your life and go to the king and tell him about this heinous thing. That Haman is planning the Jews will all die. You must go brave Esther, this you must try. Risking her life, Esther told him the story of Haman's dastardly plan, evil and hoary. I must tell you something that to you may be news. Someone is planning to kill all the Jews. I fear my dear husband, unless you act with your heart. I too will die on the 13th of Adar. Esther, dear Esther, tell Haman your fear. Don't be afraid. Tell him, my dear. You, who did plot to destroy all the Jews, also will kill me, whom the king did choose. I sentence you now to the gallows you built. Not a single drop of Jewish blood shall be spilt. Pack up your belongings, but don't go far. On the gallows you'll be swinging on the 13th of Adar. The moral of the story, Yeladim, you now know, is to honor God and all people wherever you go, to stand up and speak out for all that is right, and to you, Hagsameach. Lila Tov and good night.